We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. Listen, you must be wondering, hey, is Deacon messing with my head? Again? But even if you don't believe anything else, know that you're my friend. Maybe my only one. So, good talk. People think our missions are all about synths, but there's more going on. We are building a better, brighter commonwealth. Look, all of us enrolled in the School of Hard Knocks need an occasional refresher course. And this one, it comes from a place of respect, all right? My relationship with the truth rubs some people the wrong way. But believe this one thing, I'm in your corner. Always have been. Not everyone can say that. I'm like a bad penny. I'll keep turning up. Keep racking up your bank account, and I might need to teach you a little game I call poker. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. Ouch. That right there is what we in the business call a landmine. It generally works better if you avoid those. The railroad really is the best, noblest organization that's ever lived. A disguise is more than a wig and some lice-ridden clothes. You'd be surprised how far I've gotten with the right attitude and a clipboard. I get you don't want to take a bullet for a synth, but you... willing to brave some danger to stop the Institute and their nefarious schemes? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this coarser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? So, group hug? Yes? No? Usually it's spa days and macrame, but hey, I'm up for some mayhem. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let its size fool you. It's cutting edge old world tech. It's powerful and more importantly, quiet. You'll never find another weapon like it. Call this gun a vote of confidence, right? If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting-to-know-you game. But we don't have that luxury. I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. Believe this, you are my friend. Maybe my only one. Look, when shit goes down, I'm with you to the end. So, yeah. Good talk. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. Yes, we've had some strong words not too far back. Well, strong for me at least. I thought we came to an understanding, but you keep leaving a trail of misery behind you. To be clear, I'm not gonna stand for it.
I try my best to limit the blowback on my apps. No mess, no fuss. Some of the things you've been doing? Well, it's not pretty. A mistake or two, yeah. But what I did? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. You know, like if I say rad roach. Now, don't think of rad roach. See? You thought of it. And if it's a real simple code, then one slip and uh, goodbye, Deacon. Anyway, only read it if you have to. The Brotherhood. Well, I met them on an op in Capital Wasteland a few years back. But now with Elder Maxim, let's just say, not a fan. And the Institute? Well, do I really need to answer that? But what I think doesn't matter. The real question is, what do you think? Sometimes I think you're right, but there's a point to this, a lesson, if you will. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. Sure. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. You know that, I do too. But it's kinda hard to do PR when we're hiding in a hole in the ground. What's done is done, and the upshot is you're in a position where you can act openly. If you go to ground, there's little the coursers can do about it. I figured you deserved to know. I was one of the first to get the whole cranium reboot, and let's just say it was a learning experience for everyone. It seems like your solution to everything is violence, and the way you treat people. Thanks. I know, but somehow before you managed to thread that needle, and now... I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. Well, all good things must end. But as soon as you take care of whatever you're taking care of, come grab me. Hearing about things on the sideline isn't my style. I hate to break up a winning combination. When you're covered in super mutant blood coming off the jet DTs and you're one step ahead of the Institute, it's Beantown Brown time! These guys have a hell of a sting. Do not let the Rad Scorps close on you. Big game hunting Commonwealth style. Oh, boy. Killing these old synths always... Well, if we gotta do it, Glory's going to lecture me when I get home. How do you taunt a turret? Your mother was a pea shooter! See? I got nothing. You're going down, Yao. You guys, whatever you are, you're going down. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claw's leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure.
Sometimes I think you're the best agent we've ever had. And other times, your style and mine are completely opposite. The railroad needs people like you and Glory, so it's good to have you both on our team. But where we... <laughs> uh, I can't keep up with this bullshit. You know what? It's all a big lie. <laughs> good talk. My point in this is, sometimes you're adding more reasons for them to distrust and even hate us. And that makes our job harder down the line. We need to win over John Q. Public, and that's a tough proposition at the best of times. Haven't you noticed that when I say the word, Desdemona does a 180? Hey, there's an intruder! No, I vouch for him. Then welcome! Every time. It works best that way. Gives me room to maneuver. I'm an easygoing guy, but there is a goddamn line. Just remember, we're trying to help people, not make the garbage dump stink even more. Being with her made me feel like the whole world had a chance. That one day we could climb out of this wreckage. She could do that to people. I was one of the first since they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it was a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me? I got nothing. And that, well, it does something to you. I don't know for certain, but I imagine it's a big old wad of trauma and cupcakes. Except with no cupcakes. I think I'll wait until the betting pool back at HQ gets a little higher before I answer that one. When I need some beer money. I do. That's the safety net the brain docs put in. An ejector seat to bring back your old synth self. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Des, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is... Refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. Don't get me wrong, I'm pleased as punch we're traveling together. So, if you get back to the whole Brotherhood of Man thing again, we'll be the best of pals. I want... If you believe anything, believe this. I'm in your corner. Always have been. Doesn't it make things make a little bit more sense? There's a lot of secrets in the railroad. Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. If you really want proof, you can read that code and find out. Wait a second. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea. I must say, this whole partner thing, maybe it wasn't overrated. Maybe I really am a simp. Maybe you are too. How would anyone know? You know what? You ever wonder if right now we're living in our glory days? What do friends do together these days anyway? Poker? Campfires? Manny Petties? A stealth boy? My best pal? In a world full of danger? This is the good life. Can you ever truly escape your past? God, I hope so. So obviously I'm not going to risk my life for a radio, but a Gen 1 or Gen 2? Where to draw the line, huh?
You getting the hang of the railroad yet? We're just one big dysfunctional family with guns. This partnering up, it's weird. Sometimes I just want to pop a stealth boy and bug out. Not really an option now. I'm in the mood for some Blamco mac and cheese. Ooh, or maybe Meyer Lurk steaks with salsa. Mm -hmm. I really want to know how the big one started. What idiot fired first? Why? What the hell did they think they gained? When I retire, I want to be a mole rat farmer. That'd be the life. Get a handle on what's driving someone, and you know where you stand. The big three for predicting people. Caps, beliefs, and ego. If there's one thing the Minutemen did that I was okay with, it's curbing the damn raiders. The lowest level of hell is reserved for raiders. And liars. Uh-oh. Ah, the time-honored tradition of looting. Take them for all they're worth. Ask for a pony, too. That would be cool. Some jackasses call ferals ghouls. Like ghouls don't have enough problems. Bet you crapped your pants the first time you saw a feral. I know I did. Everything looks better at the bottom of a glass, right? I've been known to partake of that myself. Door A, certain bloody death. Door B, everyone still breathes. You'd think door B would win every now and then. Whoa, everybody stop! I got a splinter. You may want to go easy on that. Didn't they have those PSAs back in the day about drugs and the wacky, awesome lifestyles they promote? We live to fight another day, and night, and day, etc., etc. It's time for science, yay! There's got to be some lab somewhere that was working to, you know, help people. But I haven't found it yet. All these monuments around. Boston must have been real important. Or thought it was, at least. Must have been nice to hang out here without worrying about being sniped. Maybe we should get some Meyerlurk steaks, Nuka Cola, Fancy Labs, and have a cookout. Ooh, should I just wear my bullseye jacket to make it easier for him? Remember, fill your pockets with all the goodies. Then we can slowly crawl out. Good times. So, what did we learn in school today, Timmy? Nuclear war sucks. So teachers, all they did was teach, right? They didn't farm or run shops or run guns on the side. Wow. In a pinch, you can crash in a warehouse for a night. This is nice. True, the water's irradiated and there's probably lurks everywhere, but still nice. You're going down, grr. That's menacing, right? Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting paid, right? Time to terminate you. Jolly good and all that, hippie. Not everyone in the railroad would agree with this, but my view is that we're really in it to help everyone. Humans, synths, and everything in between. So if you can start doing that again, I'll rest a whole lot easier. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> When you screw someone over, guess what? Sometimes, the rumor gets out. But I had a point here, a lesson, if you will. At the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. There, I've said my piece.
There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're going to pay for it. Whether the Institute's motivated by vengeance or faulty intel, it doesn't matter to the people left behind. Us all getting along isn't what's important. The mission is. We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one. One synth at a time. An angry mob can ruin our day. Just as easily as a courser attack. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a simp. At least that's what they tell me. So... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Did I have you going about being a simp? You'd be amazed how many people actually fall for that. Hey, I could be a synth. I could be the best damn synth that ever synthed. Don't take it personal. Look, I lie to everyone. I'm convincing the next raw recruit that I'm actually President Eden. Think I can pull it off? Man. Oh, I was just about to open up about my first pet mole rat, Bessie, and the time we had to put her down. The railroad isn't exactly loved out there. A lot of people look at synths as murderous machines. So you can imagine how popular that makes us. Others could give a shit. They just want to farm, trade, thieve, or whatever. Their beef with us is collateral damage. You ever just sort of feel sorry for the poor bastards that fight us? They don't stand a chance. I'm feeling overdue for some reconstructive surgery. Ooh, maybe I'll go blonde next time. I could use some fun. The world would be better if there were a lot fewer body bags. Just saying. Ah, the cover of night, my dear friend. Nighttime is the only time I feel I can breathe easy. Since we're a team, you think maybe we could use a code name? Red Orchard, or Code Violet, or ooh, the Death Bunnies. That'll confuse them. Man, you really like to wander, don't you? I've seen more of the wealth with you than I have the rest of my years combined. The open road isn't as bad with a buddy. Don't ever let your guard down. When you do, inevitably, that's when everything goes to hell. The way you just walk right out in the open, it's a wonder your head hasn't been blown off by a sniper. Just saying. The Commonwealth can be the enemy just as much as the Institute. We've lost plenty of sense to hate mongers. You give small men big power, sometimes you'll pay for it. I can't shake the feeling we're living on borrowed time. Ever wish you just hit the snooze button instead of thawing out to this? You pre-war types really did a number on the place. Hats off. I ever tell you about the time I was in Capital Wasteland? Now there's a tale. I'm thinking next time I go to town, I'll dress up as a Mr. Handy. If I pull that off, I'll be a legend. We just steer clear of the Meyer Lurks next time. I hate Lurks. Piercing their shells a bitch, let me tell you. 
I would have paid 50 caps to be with you the first time you saw one of the crafts. Must have thought you walked into a B-movie. Hit the lurks in their soft spot if you can. Then, grab butter. Mmm. Because, you know, the world wasn't screwed enough, so sure, bring on the giant nearly indestructible crabs. That'll be good. I always feel a little bad shooting mole rats. Not bad enough not to eat them, though. Mole rat. The other, 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 other white meat. You know, I've always wanted a pet mole rat. I'd call him Ziggy. One mole rat is kind of cute. A swarm of them, though? That's trouble. You know, there's a lot to be said about good old terra firma, right? Right? This thing is safe, right? Ah, radiation. You unbelievable bastard. You know that staticky sound? Yeah, it means we should get the hell out of here. We're sucking up rads here. Look, unless you want me to stick you on top of the railroad's Christmas tree, let's go. I'm a fan of Grognak myself. What will that wacky barbarian do next? <laughs> now doesn't that just give me the warm fuzzies? Going for the whole hearts and minds bit. That's so sweet it hurts. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. So I turned my back on my brothers. Broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. Barbara, she was... she just was. She had a smile, like on those old magazine covers. Her eyes... She saw something in me I didn't know was there. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a synth. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the death clause found out, but there was blood. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. One of the reasons I opened up to you is that, oh boy, this is gonna sound corny. You've got some real nobility. If honor was common back in your day, I'm sure you realize it's rare as hell now. Truth is, it's been a long time since I've had a friend. I don't know if it's your good old fashioned pre-war values or you just won the genetic lottery, but Anyone that has you in their corner has an advantage. I'm new to this friends thing. There's perks, right? Like, can I take out a loan, say, 100,000 caps? I'll get it back to you, I promise. Hey, the more firepower you can absorb, the better. Fixing up your armor is always a wise investment. That is some precision picking there. With skills like that, remind me to show you a couple places. Now I'm feeling all sorts of uncomfortable about my locker back at HQ. Back before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honest. So, new business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? I, if you're giving stuff away, you know, there's a few things I'd like. A uh, jumbo jet, a solid gold machine gun, my own talk radio station. Oh, hell. You know you can write that off as a tax deduction. I saw a vid once of a Robco factory back in the day. And this is what's left of that world. Sad, really. Factories give me the creeps. You never know when some robot's gonna say, Hello. I totally should have been a surgeon. Paging Dr. Feelgood, your car's parked under an A-bomb. Trains. Everyone likes trains, right? 
Junior. That's what they sounded like, right? All aboard Rad Roach Station. Military bases can be dangerous, but well worth the risk. All the fighting, all the training, and did any of it matter? Usually, offices are kind of lacking on salvage. Every now and then, you get lucky though. So people seriously spent nine, ten hours a day in places like this? So it was desperation, petty politics, and water coolers. Joy. Pam once tried telling me, and I still have no idea. What the hell's a TPS report anyway? This is my element, civilization. If we find people, just act like you belong. Remember, you do the talking. I can be your mute friend. One day, we'll take back this city. Maybe I should change my outfit. I want to be wearing my Sunday best if we meet people after all. Did everyone seriously learn calculus back then? <gasps> Were you guys planning for an evasion of mathletes? After we beat the Institute and free all the synths, we need to take to the seas in an epic adventure. You can have the cool hat. All right, vaults are now my new favorite place. You know, the ground is a pretty sensible place to be, right? You came from one of these, right? I grew up in a vault. I was a morale officer. How am I doing, boss? Rumor is Vault Tech was running experiments on the residents. That'll get you some customer satisfaction. Just once, I want radiation to turn something into a giant fluffy bunny instead of the grand poobah of all Myra lurks. So I'll be straight with you, although you're not gonna like it. I have no idea what the prototype does. Us railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. Well, the slightly bright side here is it'll be easy getting out. You buy that? I don't. So, would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely, but we live in the real world. And there, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. So you answered the big question and took a pass. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. Hey, we're not for everyone. Come to think of it, we're not for practically anyone. But if you change your mind, you get the idea. We're great. We're freaking fantastic. Songs will be written about our sheer awesome, awesome -inicity. Hmm? Why do you ask? You know something I don't? Huh? Nah, we're golden. We can do a lot of good together. If I knew partnering up was so much fun, I would have done this ages ago. Last partner I had wound up going, well, a little insane. I think it was all my show tune medleys. So, as long as you don't go clawing your eyes out, I think we're good. Kinda wish there was a little less violence around, but hey, that's the Commonwealth for you. The load always seems a little lighter, the steps a little quicker when you're with your friend. We're good. You don't ever have to ask. We're thick as thieves, my friend. Always happy to spend some time with my friend, even when the grenades and bullets are flying, which happens an awful lot. Everyone's welcome and good neighbor. Even me. You'll totally love it here. Sure love trading here. For trade stuff. God, I love this song. Magnolia can really sing. Only reason I come here. That and to get wasted. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. 
but it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. The Institute has a habit of stepping on people's toes with a jackhammer. Good luck. Sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. Most railroad agents are fully committed to the cause, but some agents want revenge even more. I get that. Keeping an open mind or waiting for more facts? Smart, either way. But everyone associated with the railroad has to at least support the basic tenant that since deserved to be free. Starting with ancient history, they tried to take over the Commonwealth, came a hair away from succeeding with their synth army, so there's that. But in the what have you done for me lately category? Kidnappings. Wiped out a settlement or two and nasty bioengineering experiments. Diseases. FEV. The usual. So, you willing to fight them? We got a lot of idealists in our bunch, but they make room for us pragmatists. They have to. You agree? Lady, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. I'm pretty sure synth infiltrators know their synths. Well, probably. I like working from Long Ranch. Absolutely. And my eagerness is totally unrelated to wanting a smoke break. Come grab me when you need me. With the Institute hunting you, it's all too easy to let paranoia cripple you. Sometimes you can lose sight of the big pictures. We're all about helping people. So I saw an opportunity to turn the meeting around for the better. I did a good job. Well, as long as we're not sold down the river. These days, being able to even spell railroad is cause for celebration. Hey, just calling it like I see it. Either you figured out how to slip by bad guys, ghouls, et al, so you're smart, or you blasted a path straight through. In which case, tough. Either way, kind of impressive. You know, those extra caps totally solved those pesky moral objections. Am I right? My mom always said I'd wind up in contract assassination. Eternal life is overrated. Just ask any ghoul. Sometimes people need killing. No dame's worth it. Other fish in the sea and all that. Getting involved in a love triangle? No thanks. Let's just nod our heads and smile to the crazy person. We're the ones helping her. Sheesh. Yeah, we don't kill people for money. But, come to think of it, we do kill an awful lot of people. Guns don't solve problems. They just create more. Negotiating with tin cans is a dicey business. You know, the cold, logical part of me thinks this is dumb, but all aboard, mate. Sadly, that's the way the Commonwealth works. Thanks, Mr. Cook, for reprogramming a useful robot into an electronic jerk. I keep trying to like Diamond City, but sometimes they don't make it easy. Used to be wannabe gladiators bashed each other's skulls in here. Now it's full of raiders, so no change. For what it's worth, you can never trust a synth infiltrator. They've been specially designed to fool everyone. No matter who you're working for, ops like this are good all around. See, this is what the Brotherhood's really about. Another good man killed because of blind prejudice. Will we ever learn? Sure, work with the Institute. It'll be great. There's no way that could go wrong. Liked your PSA about the great and powerful Institute. You should be a DJ. Did you see that? With the claws and the, 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 the size? 
Those Meyer lurks didn't stand a chance. Who's ready for an epic clam bake? Change is tough. It's best to just jump. Sounds easier than getting up and changing stations. Who has time for that? You can get yourself out of a lot of scrapes just by maintaining composure. Yeah, tit for tat. Is anyone else a little weirded out by that expression? That's, in the espionage business, what we call a clue. Sure, when you want to take in a stray, we do it. And when I want my own pet deathclaw named Fluffy, it's all, no! Great, another crazy scientist. Wait, somebody order them in bulk? <laughs> you see why we don't attract tourists? Who wants to see the famous landmark covered in blood, right? Popular place. And look at me, I forgot my lunchbox. Centuries of sewer smell. Oh, I bet everyone back at HQ is jealous. I would totally bowl, except I have a thing about bowling shoes. And I hurt my back. A lot. I sailed the ocean for a few months, made it to Greenland. Crazy story, I'll tell you about it later. This playground could be worse. I can't think of how right now, but, but trust me, it, it definitely could. Oh that? That's the USS Constitution. I hear it's parked up there for tax purposes. I think what we have here is a failure of intelligence. Would have been good to know about this. We should schedule a group outing for the railroad. Watch a movie, catch a bite to eat, and get home before the Institute wipes us out. I hate playgrounds. Sometimes I close my eyes and imagine ocean waves, people. I, I just can't picture it. Now that's a view, huh? Lake Cockit. Wait. Lake Cockit. Uh, Lake tons and tons of mire lurks. I wonder what the acoustics are like here. Let me get my list out. Mm, bread, eggs, and cilantro. You can never have enough cilantro. Do not open the cabins. The co-op is perfectly safe as long as you keep the hippies locked up. Mmm, donuts. You go first next time we storm a ghoul-infested basement. I'll be behind you. Very, very far behind you. Alright, I don't say this often, but that is bad ass. Super mutants and satellites. I wonder if they're planning their own space launch. Civilization back then was something else. But you take away its infrastructure, and that's what really killed people. Grade A real estate here. Secluded, the crazy neighbors. Oh, and tons and tons of radiation. Hmm. Automated surgery. What could go wrong? Oh, that's an odor. Ancient sewer treatment plant. Oh, that's the stuff. This place reeks. Meyerler goo. Anyone else hungry? Dog meat. Don't get any ideas. If we got rid of the Meyerlerks, the Ponted Park would be a pretty nice place. The common looks peaceful, but no one's saying goes inside. Wait, something in the Commonwealth actually still works? I'm gonna write my congressman. If you ever really need me, well, come find me. Listen, I got something important to say. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. I call dibs on any hats. I love a good hat. Every base we've had has been deep underground. 
Pam says it's safer that way. If you've got the Institute on your ass, a nice cave can be your friend. Nice and dark in here. I like it. The one thing you can count on in a nice comfy cave is company. It's prime real estate. I prefer cave fighting to a shootout up top. Fewer attack vectors. Practically every cave in the Commonwealth has been used by the railroad at one point or another. Is now a good time to mention I don't like heights? I can't believe you survived that jump. You got thrill issues. Now things are getting interesting. Rad sickness. That's a good look. Your fashion choice there? That takes some chutzpah. You might want to cover up, or not. Come on in. The water's glowing. Yay, slime. Let's get the dog paddling over with. With you overloaded and all, let me take this chance to read my unabridged copy of War and Peace at you. Well, I'll be. Situation resolved and no one's lying in a pool of blood. Don't tell glory. Been partying a little hard, have we? Might want to lay off. There was a time I was on a first name basis with Kems. It's better to kiss them goodbye. Trust me. I hope your little habit doesn't interfere with things. Glad you're taking care of the mutt. And nothing sadder than a hurt dog. Not a bad payout. It's refreshing getting paid. Cha-ching. You ever want to fill a bathtub with caps? You might want to focus on the valuable salvage. You'll break your back carrying worthless scrap. Can you build me a mansion? Casa del Deacon. I've been known to peek in a few pockets, from time to time. As long as you don't get caught, game on, my friend. Your wish is my strong recommendation. Ah, terminals. It's like the old world flipping us off all over again. Ah, the Brotherhood, elitism, power armor, xenophobia, and racial purging. What's not to like? The Brotherhood used to be the good guys. Well, good-ish. I wonder if the name Brotherhood of Bigots was already taken. Whatever egghead came up with the giant bugs should have been nuked. What I'd give for an industrial-sized tub of bug be gone. You know, if the little bug bastards just stood still, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I hate those little bloodsuckers. Why would anyone ever join the children? That's what I want to know. All the comfy comforts of a cult without leaving your irradiated crater. Join the children of Adam.
I always feel unclean killing those Adam guys. That's probably just the radiation poisoning talking, though. Oh, death claws. I do not like claws. Those fast car flipping guys, yeah, they just get to me. Another death claw down and another of my nine lives burn. Yay! Gunners give mercs a bad name, and that's saying something. Gunners have had bounties on me. Well, me under different names and faces. I want to see how many slots I can fill on their most wanted list. Death claws. Love them or leave them, they'll still tear your face off. Who's pulling the gunner's strings? No one knows. Gunners are one step above raiders in my book. Don't underestimate the gunners. I think of super mutants as toddlers on steroids. Super mutants hit like a Mack truck. Sometimes it's best to just sidestep the muties. They don't have the best eyesight. The FEV virus, helping demolish walls and kill civvies since 2077. Headshots work best against super mutants. A lot, a lot of headshots. I understand why Glory hates wasting Gen 1s and 2s. A very fuzzy line. I'm alright if we have to take out the Gen 1s and 2s. Barely, but alright. So let me get this straight. You used to propel big metal birds in the sky and flying them for thousands of miles. You're braver than I thought. One day, I'm gonna find myself an unlooted brewery. Go on one hell of a bender. If you find any bottles, let me know. It's party time. Used to be settlers around here. Then the death claws came, and... There went the neighborhood. A properly cooked fish is pretty good eats, as long as it hasn't mutated too much. Aw, did the poor raiders get eaten by ferals? For once, the ferals did something right. Whoever the valet is for those boats, I am not going to tip him. Okay, maybe one cap. Great, the Minutemen are back. Let's just hope you can keep the redneck element in check. I'm just spitballing here. Mm, let's call it Casa del Deacon. No? Well, think about it. And you, my friend, are solid gold. Now, let's go kick some ass. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. Here's my one and only sales pitch. Do you support synth freedom? I'm not asking if you die for them, just if you agree that they shouldn't be slaves. I'd prefer to leave the latest gossip and fashion tips for the others. Tom's quiz on how to find your ideal mate, I especially recommend. Our favorite wacky cultists love this place. And if it's good in the Cult of Adam's book, you know what that means, right? Yeah, me neither. Let me tell you something interesting about that thing. When I was here last, oh, 
60 years or so ago, this whole place was just crawling with Minutemen. You could smell the smugness a mile away. If you think we got the mojo for that, I'll back your play. You first. I like it here. Someone has too much time on their hands. This place is spotless. To whoever's cleaning here, thanks for making the rest of us look bad. Nine times out of ten, water means radiation poisoning. Is now a good time to mention I don't know how to swim? I used to like listening to a radio station. They played country songs. Randolph Station. More importantly though, where's that play button? Sometimes the cure is worse than the disease. That a silver shroud costume? Hey, uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? You can lead a horse to water, but sometimes they'll still shoot themselves in the head. <sighs> Jamaica Plain. Treasure hunters, corpses, and hard luck stories. Isn't the Commonwealth grand? The safer I'm supposed to feel, the more paranoid I get. It takes a long time for this much dirt to gather. No one's been in here for ages. I like shadows, but this is taking it a little too far. Where does all this dust even come from? The dust fairies? What a mess. It takes a real slob to achieve this level of filth. And for me to say that, you know it means something. It's almost impressive. I'm telling you, it's all about the sunglasses. Best 10 cap investment you'll ever make. Codsworth, my main robot. How goes the butling? But butlering? You know. This is not for your benefit. It's to stay one step ahead of you know who. The Institute. So... Awkward silence or quality time? You be the judge. Talk's over, amigo. This meditation break brought to you by Hubris Comics. Yeah, we did that. <laughs>